All right, welcome to Darlington, South Carolina. Home of this weekend, Southern 500. Cookout, Southern 500. Just kind of walking around, see, showing some stuff that people that's never been to the track can see. About uh, two miles down that road, right in that direction, take you right by to Darlington. There's a cool little courtyard here. It's a little wild murals. Thought I'd share with everybody. I'm gonna get over here, maybe where I can see the comments. If you'll notice, uh, some of them have the drivers. David Pearson. It's handprint. Leroy Yarborough. Buddy Baker. This is in the little courtyard that's uh, here in Darlington. So if you ever go to Darlington, go downtown. It's just a little spot before you get into the courthouse center. Hey, he can go. I'm gonna go over and sit in that rocker here in a minute. <laughs> 18 days on the road. I've done a lot of sitting and a lot of flying and a lot of driving. It's been a great little adventure for me. Whoo, feels good in the shade. Hey, y'all hit them likes and let's bring some folks in here to get to enjoy this for. So I was a had the pleasure of actually knowing Harold Brazerton Jr., whose dad built uh, Darlington. And you see on the sign here, Harold Brazerton, airbrushed. Uh, a really unique man. Uh, some of the stories that I heard, he had the uh, local drugstore here where you got your soda fountain drinks. He built the drag strip. He built Rockingham to get back into Francis for taking his track here in Darlington. All right, nobody's like nothing here. Come on. I got 105 people looking and nobody likes this. <laughs> Fireball Roberts. That was my my hero in that my first actually he was the first driver I liked in NASCAR. Thanks for the likes. I I've, I've got I got 38, 53 now. Appreciate you standing up there, hitting them like buttons. Jim Reed, 1959. Hey, it just goes on and on. It's a neat little place. You know, hey, look, it's, it's, it's a cool racetrack, but what makes it so cool is downtown and all this going on. They got the holler parade, which will be Friday afternoon from six to seven. It's leaving Florence, South Carolina, and driving through Darlington. It's about a 40-minute, 30-minute drive in an 18-wheeler. Oh, let me tell you how these seats, whoo, these seats feel good. So if you've never been to Darlington, it is a unique track because of the, the old Minipon in the back that Mr. Brazerton told them that he would save it and uh, build around it, and that's exactly what he did. And it has a uh, reputation of being the lady in black. This is my second race for the year. I'm uh, here this weekend 
good friend Kerry Thorpe, the track president. Him and Deb, he's retiring and uh, gonna get to spend some time with his wife and do things that retired people do after 20 years here at, at Darlington. And hey, you know what? I showed up, Mother Nature showed up yesterday, a promoter's nightmare, a hurricane skirted the brought rains and high winds to Darlington, but today and the rest of the week, look at there, sunny skies. Really, it's like a, a, I would say this is like the first day of October in Alabama. Just really, really nice. Really nice day, got a little breeze. It's not that hot when you're sitting in the shade or in, directly in the sun. So I think the original first race that was run in 1959 had, if I'm not mistaken, 72 or 74 cars showed up for the race. And he really was. Mr. Brazerton built the first, at that time was Super Speedway, which I would say now would be considered an intermediate track for the size it is. And it was famous for the Darlington Stripe, guys. It is too tough to tame. <laughs> You're exactly right. Too tough to tame. Hey, I've been in the museum. It's really neat. Uh, yeah, I, I recommend everybody go. Hey, there was a big crowd there a while ago because I get the credentials uh, across the street there at the little office, and there was a, a good good crowd across there. All right, all right. Yeah, we're just over off in the side. Just kind of walked down, drove downtown. Uh, not a whole lot to do at the track today, unless you want to watch other people set stuff up, because they're really kind of behind. Hey, and if you get out and you want some T-shirts, go by and see Will Pyre. Check out his uh, selection. He'll fix you up. He's on here. Hit that follow button. He does a lot of Facebook lives. Uh, you know, he's home with a $5 t-shirt. Got $5 hats and then they go up from there. He's got some, a lot of great merchandise, guys. NASCAR merchandise. So, Will Power, check him out. Hey, buddy. Well, I'm, you know, hey, I'm 68, so I know, I know what you're talking about, friend. That's what, <laughs> I, I'm trying to get all I can get in, uh, you know, because life can be short. You never know. I still got, after this, I've got Talladega, Homestead, uh, and I'm going to, Daytona Tom and I are going to finish the year out at Phoenix at, at the uh, championship race. So I'm going to, one of my main things is go up on Rattlesnake Hill. I just want to go up and watch a few laps and say I've been there. Hey, there's still time then. All you got to do is drive down. Hey, look, I'm still hollering about Watkins Glen guys anybody been to Watkins Glen on here besides me that track I tell you what downtown the track everything was perfect perfect 
my score on that track was an A plus. They do an absolutely awesome job. Now we just need our 2024 schedule, guys. Unless it come out last night, this morning, I, it is not out yet. I, hard to plan next year till you know what the plans are. Where are you going to be? Can't get you can't get a handicap pass. Enough sitting. Now see, Darlington has kind of lost its downtown charm. It's not a whole lot going on, you know, but Watkins Glen, you still got mom and pop stations, stores, boutiques, breweries. It's, it's, it's completely different. Good evening. How you doing? Great. How about you? Good. Hey, they got the litter patrol out. Grinding this battery down, folks. Hey, there's a local Mexican restaurant. Beca. I would say at one point that was a bank. It's like a nice building. It's for rent. Anybody looking to open a bank? They're ready for the weekend, folks. Still got a few nice stores downtown. Public. A lot of buildings for sale. Store is closed. I just don't dig the uh, strip mall scene there. I'd rather come back like it used to be downtown. Veterans. I got different wars. Spanish American, World War One, Two, Korean, Vietnam, Desert Storm, it just goes on and on. James Wilson. A lot of folks volunteer. The empty chair. We 
go fight these wars and then we end up buying cars and bringing them over and <laughs> buying all our merchandise at Dollar General. Guess where that's made at? Dang sure ain't in St. Louis. Somebody's without cable TV now. Yep, the cable's been cut. Even though the bill's been paid, the cable's been cut. All right, we're fixing to walk right back to where we was at. I'm gonna ride around, take some pictures of down to the old houses entering historic district. It's a really unique door <laughs> with those different separate panels this is called the Darlington loft yeah it's apartments moved ahead and figured out this old building was good for something besides burning down all right I'll be back later uh, I'm going to post up some videos from the last race here. Some shots of uh, the track. Anything that's going on later. Main thing is I'm going to go back and I'm going to ice down some cold beer for later on when I get settled in for the night. There's the Suburban. 391,000. And she rolling. All right, till next time, guys.